these two men will battle. And then every minute after that, another competitor will enter. After all 20 men have entered, the final remaining man left standing in the ring will win the Honor Rumble and earn a World Championship opportunity against Jay Briscoe in two weeks' time, right here on television. So both these guys are going to have their work cut out for them. Starting fast, I mean, if I was in there first, I'd try and conserve my energy as much as possible. But that's not a bad idea. ACH looking to already get rid of Jay Lethal. The oh, truth might see you that wanker on the outside. They wouldn't stop him putting his hand up there. Referees are all around the ring to make sure that as competitors are thrown over the top rope, that both feet hit the floor. These men in Ring of Honor are so athletic. ACH at the top of the list. ACH going after Jay Lethal, and I know ACH heard the words of what Truth Martini and Jay Lethal said in Toronto. We've all experienced flight delays and problems before, but just horrible, slanderous comments that they made towards ACH. Yeah, well, they, you know, they had an opportunity, and they took it. Sometimes that gets in someone's head. You saw the way ACH came out here. Sometimes in pro wrestling, you know, like you said, flight delays and stuff like that, you've got to have a plan B, a plan C, and a plan D. You know? Very true, but the biggest opportunity in ACH's career to date went by the boards when he missed that fight, missed that opportunity to go after the television title. But a Three, win here in honor two, Rumble, he gets a one. world title shot. Who is next? Entrant number three, Tadarius Thomas. I understand that uh, all members of the decade are uh, are entered in the honor rumble here, Nigel. Yeah, that is right. They all have their own spot. And they won't be coming out until it's their time. I made that perfectly clear. Former Adrenaline Rush tag team partners. Now to Darius, firmly in the grips of control of the decade. You don't like him, I hate him too. Let's team up, get him You don't like him, I hate him too. Let's team up. That makes sense. It's a good strategy. Will TD go for it? Well, Tadarius certainly listens to the decade and turned his back on Lethal, and that mistake could cost him. A veteran move from Lethal, but he's got to keep this going now. Three, two, Boy, that one. minute of time goes fast. You ain't kidding. Wait, ACH is going to try to eliminate Lethal. Entry number four, Jay Diesel. Well, this stinks to high heaven. Oh my God, look at that. Yes. He's out. Yes. Look at how quickly yes. Jay Diesel, Diesel came back. That's why I'm paying people. Truth Martini taking payoffs left and right. I'm stunned and so is the crowd here. Well, ACH had his back turned. Jay Diesel, as strong as he is, came in from behind and suckered ACH. Now wheelbarrow here. What is D Diesel's strength is certainly on display. Manhandling, TD, watch out! Oh my lord, look at that! Nowhere for TD to go! And now, with the instructions clear, Jay Diesel throws to Darius Thomas out. And now, Jay Lethal can sit Three, and wait two, to see who's one. next. Of the foundation of the House of Truth, entrant number five, the Romantic! Romantic Touch was an innocent pawn in Jay Lethal's rivalry with Matt Taven that is now over with Taven's Ring of Honor time done. He's going to need more than a Romantic Touch to survive here. And a special touch. Very athletic, but I question the wisdom here, though. Jumping into the fight. Is he going to try for it again? Maybe. And a uh, assist lethal injection. Another time, another opportunity, and a very clear game plan. Wow. You Three, love it. You two, love this, don't you? One. You're feeling great. Is he? 
No time for selfies, Truth. Oh, the party's just getting started. Mark Briscoe's on his way in. Entry number six, Mark Briscoe. He's going to go after Truth. He's going to go after Truth Martini. Get him. Oh, the polyester king. Truth pulled a hamstring. Lethal slides out under the bottom. Now Mark Briscoe, he pulled Jay Lethal out underneath the bottom rope, so Lethal's not eliminated, but now that isolates Jay Diesel. With the numbers game firmly on their side, oh, wait a minute. The hired gun of the House of Truth could be out. Uh, he's put together Three, well, Jay Diesel. Two, one. Entrant number seven. Adam Page! Now Page had to see what they did to decade brethren to Darius Thomas. Perfectly timed. Somersault clothesline. Page very straight away and direct going after Jay Diesel. Not a bad idea at all. Over the top rope. He's halfway there. Caught himself on the apron. And lethal once again. Saves Jay Diesel. Still very precarious, always going to take his one big shot. Oh, that's the way back inside now. Page puts the brakes on. Lethal was the first man entered in the ring. Luck of the draw, 20 men will fight. The winner of this honor rumble, world title opportunity against Jay Briscoe. Jay's brother Mark just gets knocked down by Jay Diesel. And watch out from behind, Adam Page about to get it. Who's next? I love this. And trick number eight. Will Ferrara! Oh, a huge opportunity for young Will Ferrara. Yeah, not the biggest dog in the fight for sure, but a product of the ROH Dojo and head trainer Delirious. And the scouting reports on Will Ferrara is that this guy is a firebrand. Ready to go, never say die attitude, but certainly going to give up a lot of size in a battle royal. Stick around, fans. Ring of Honor will be right back. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 800-471-2270. That's 800-471-2270. Again, 800-471-2270. That's 800-471-2270. Welcome back, fans. The rumble Three, continues. Two, we had two new entrants in Caprice Coleman and Brutal Bob Evans. And no one has been eliminated during the break. Ah, uh, well, here we go. We know who this is. Earlier on tonight, this man, the former world champion, said he would win. Entrant number 11, Adam Cole. Not a bad draw, number 11, a little over halfway through. Confident look on his kisser, though. And he's not rushing in. He's scouting who's in there, looking for his opportunity. Keep fighting. You're doing great. You're doing great. Cole Keep gets going. the Keep honorable going. two thumbs up. But doesn't have two froggy to want to jump in. Well, strictly speaking, he's under no obligation to get in there. I think that's a smart move. Wait a minute now. Page is about to dump out Mark Briscoe. Jay Lethal is in all kinds of trouble. Three, two, one. Cole hasn't even gotten into the ring yet. Entrant number 12. Watch Jack out. Dixon. Well, Hanson just sends Cole in the hard way and is going to have to send him out just as quick. Look at that. Hanson cleaning the house here, left, right, and center. 
Warbeard now going after Brutal Bob. Oh. Brutal Bob has been eliminated from the Honor Rumble. Cole Hart thought he had it scouted. He scooted under the bottom rope, but now he's been dragged in. Got to be careful. He's right by the ropes. Briscoe saved him whether he mean to or not. It is every man for himself, except if you're talking about the House of Truth, where it's basically two on one. Out goes Caprice. No. no. Spin kick of doom, oh. and that sends Caprice out to Three, the floor. Two. Wait a minute, Hanson. No, sir. Cole's going to have to do more than that. You see there, the more bodies gets in the ring now, the more dangerous it gets. Briscoe's going after Adam Cole. Look at that great camera work. Entry number 13, B. Tim Whitman. Finally now, Adam Page will get some rest by hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Steve Carino sent me a text before the broadcast tonight, said he hopes for a great competitive honor rumble, except for BJ Whitmer, that he hopes has a stroke. That was not very nice from Steve, who's on maternity leave. Be back soon, hopefully. Wait a second now. Look at the, the numbers game on Mark Briscoe. Nigel, there's nothing that's going to prevent Mark from going out. Well, there is there. One kick and a couple of punches. Look at Will Ferrara, though. Three, Thought perhaps two, come to his aid. one. Ferrara is shown to be feisty. Hands at a physical difference maker. Adam Cole thought it was going to be an easy night. Jay Lethal's been in since the Open. It's the Honor Rumble. Entry number 14. O'Reilly's strategy straight away towards Jay Diesel. Look at that. Go, oh, no. Now look at this. The decade. Page and BJ Whitmer just eliminated Hanson. It took both Page and BJ Whitmer to do it, though. But they got the job done. Well, the team that is forming within the decade of Page and Whitmer, certainly to keep our eye on, but now Page, his night's going to be Look done. Look at Whitmer, Whitmer not moving. He clearly Three, stood there and two, watched Mark Briscoe. One. Nearly put Adam Page out. Entry number 15, Jimmy Jacobs. Well, this is great news for the decade. Uh-oh. Or is it? Lethal catches him, no. Jacob slides back through. Will Ferrer, Will Ferrer just eliminated the television champion. And out goes Diesel. I don't believe it. Will Ferrer just eliminated the House of Truth. Wait a minute, he got pulled under the bottom row. He's not eliminated, Nigel. But, but they're out. The House of Truth is out. But look at the beating that they're putting on this young man. Brian Gore, he's got to get in there. The story continues in the ring, but outside the ring, one of the biggest upsets in Honor Rumble history has happened as Will Ferrara, a virtual unknown, has eliminated the world television champion and his hired henchman, but two, suffered a hell of a beating one. in the process. And now look at this. Look, look at the way Adam Page has just picked up Ferrara. It's with number 16. Ricard. Roderick Strong! Oh, uh, wait a minute! Did Roddy mean to hit Page, but he eliminated him? It sure looked like it to me. You could say he was going for Kyle O'Reilly. And he didn't stop. Well, it is every man for himself, that's for sure. But if there was an opportunity for the decade to enjoy the numbers game, Roderick Strong might have just made a mistake. And now Mark fighting out of that corner. Look at him go. Redneck Kung Fu. Roddy shuts him down. If you look at Roddy's face there, even if he made a mistake, there was no apology on his face after he knocked Adam Page outside. Well, hold on, Briscoe. Two members of the decade again, no. Three, two, Jimmy Jacobs, one. no. So many near eliminations here. Well, here comes Cedric Alexander. He's going to be next. Where is Cedric? Is he coming from another direction? Well, he's got a minute to get down to ringside. Where 
there is Cedric Alexander. Champa. Wait a minute. Champa. He's still suspended. He's Nigel. suspended. He has not been reinstated. He can't be in this honor rumble. He's still suspended. Hold on. This is an Oh, wait a minute. Security. This isn't happening. Hey, 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 hey. Come on now, Nigel. Nigel McGuinness has just got a hold of Tampa. Tommaso Ciampa. The next entry, our which World Tag Team Champion, Bobby Fish. Well, Kyle O'Reilly just got eliminated as Bobby Fish comes in. So no opportunity for Red Dragon to team up and dominate with an opportunity at the world title. But Tommaso Ciampa, the story here. Cedric Alexander, we don't know where he was, but Tommaso Ciampa came out in his spot. Wait a minute now, here comes Cedric, holding his neck. Well, one would have to wonder what the world happened Three, to Cedric two, Alexander one. and did Tommaso Ciampa have anything to do with it? Entry number 19, Cheeseburger! There he is. Now we saw Will Ferrar, product of the dojo fight with heart and guts before in eliminating Jay Lethal, but now poor Cheeseburger. Oh, come on. 125 pounds, and the bullies in the decade are stomping away on him. They're beating the relish out of Cheeseburger. Wait a minute, Cheeseburger oh, almost turned it around and eliminated Jimmy Jacobs. They didn't follow up on it, from my standpoint. Fans very vocal about wanting to see Tommaso Ciampa come out here. Well, but yeah, I can't let him attack Bobby Cruz at ringside and let him carry on. Attack Bobby Grant. And thank goodness Bobby is back with us. Of course, it was a few weeks ago. And some time has elapsed since we all got back together again for television. But Bobby Three, suffered a two, concussion. One. At the hands and feet of Tommaso Ciampa. Thankfully, Bobby is back with us. But steps have got to be taken, Nigel to protect all of us out here from Tommaso Ciampa. Well, that's what I tried to do, you know. I get it, I understand. We've got jobs to do. The 20th and final entry into the Iron Rumble, Michael Bennett. Well, with the title of love now in the grasp of Maria Canellis, taking his time to get down to the ring, the man who drew lucky number 20, the final entry in the Honor Rumble. That's it for the entrance. One of these men will earn a world title shot. Find out who when we return. We're back and getting down to the final contender here in the Honor Rumble. Roddy trying to eliminate Adam Cole. Two former world champions in there, in Cole and Strong. What effect do you think Maria is going to have on this match? Right now, she's just stood out there admiring Mike Bennett. Well, she certainly has proven to be the mastermind of things. Oh, wait a minute, Cedric just eliminated both members of the decade. Eliminated Roddy. Wait a minute, no. Oh, no. Oh, Roddy eliminates Cedric. Excuse me, it was BJ and Jimmy that were eliminated by Cedric. Yakuza kick right in the corner. I gotta wonder, how does the decade feel about being eliminated by Cedric Alexander? They look pretty furious, but they are going to the back. Their tails between their legs. Cedric following shortly. He better be careful when he gets back there. Here's Maria Canellis. Does she have any words? You got to be feeling good about having Adam Cole and Michael Bennett in there. Oh, most definitely, and they work so well as a team. Well, they certainly do, but it is every man for himself. <laughs> Who do you want to see win this one, Maria? Uh, the Kingdom. Well, there can be only one winner as 
Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish are fighting. Cheeseburger getting stomped on by Michael Bennett. Come on, Burger! Mark Briscoe giving former world champion Adam Cole the business in the corner. Bobby Fish out on the outside. Roderick Strong. Hold on now. Look at this, Nigel. Fish trying for a suplex to the floor. Trying to eliminate Roddy with a suplex. Looks like neither of them really knows the best way to try and knock him off the apron there. If I'm there, I'm grabbing that middle rope. It's the first thing you should do. Scarce real estate for these two men to fight. Out on the floor, into Gurry. Fish is weakened. Inside, Cole continues on Mark Briscoe. Michael Bennett down in the corner as well. And poor Cheeseburger. I don't know how there's still a pulse left in it. And both men went out. They pummeled each other to the point where neither could stand on the apron anymore. And both Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong have been eliminated. I think Roddy slipped, actually. I think uh, Fish went first of all. Roddy tried to stand, and that right foot slipped off the edge of the Well, apron. what do we have now here? We've got the tag team of the kingdom versus the unlikely duo of Mark Briscoe and Cheeseburger. Oh, chicken and cheese. They're carrying the fight to Colin Bennett. Well, Mark Briscoe may have chosen the wrong partner in this one. Well, out goes Cheeseburger, courtesy. No. Cole thinks Burger's done. Cheeseburger, all the heart in the world. And he's got to get off of that apron. Is he going to try a suplex? He's going to try to suplex Cole out. Doesn't have the leverage there. He's got to get his hips deeper and underneath. And gain about oh, 70 pounds. No. Whoa, hey, watch out. Hold it. There oh. goes Cole. Out goes Mark Briscoe. Oh. The winner of the Honor Rumble, receiving the shot of the winner of our World Championship, Michael Bennett. Was right. She said the kingdom would win, but in this case, it's Michael Bennett who has won and will face Jay Briscoe for the world title in two weeks. And just like that, quicker than we could call it, one, two, three, Bennett is victorious. But look at Adam Cole on the outside. What is going through the mind of Adam Cole right now? He knows his opportunity for the world title has slipped through the fingers and into the hands of his kingdom partner. Michael Bennett will face Jay Briscoe. Cole's plan to get back in front for another week takes a back seat. He's at the back of the line again. Bennett wins the honor rumble.